Are we ready? Okay. <laughs> was pretty fun hey man welcome back everybody I'm Jim Garrett here we're gonna we're gonna go with number two now what uh, what I'd like to do today is just a nice little steel fill or intro if you will on uh, it will be in the key of G again today I like I kind of like it right there we'll change it up though of course later on but this one here what I'm gonna do is it's a nice little intro to a nice swing tune or a shuffle if you will so we're going to start, and I'll just play it for you real quick here. It's, um... The chime at the end, okay? So it's... like that okay that's I like the chime thing nice little bell sound there so what we're gonna do here we're gonna start in our open G our octave G up high here and we're playing I'm, I'm gonna start now you can play it with uh, the third fourth and fifth or just the third and fifth I'll play it with all three to kind of give you an idea of what I'm talking and what we're doing is we're starting open and we're, we're gonna hammer down on it like like so with both pedals so it's let up. And then you, what we're doing there is when we're open, we're sliding down to our D fret and then pushing both pedals, which makes it a G. So it's like, like that. And then when, once we're there, I'm coming off of that like. Dropping my A pedal holding on to my B and and hitting my G my low G sharp note and then letting off and and, and it's like this that's what it's going to sound like because you're in the G okay and then we start on our eighth note which is our E note in the D position like so and we're going to hammer on to the fifth note pushing you can push both pedals if you like Okay, so it's, and then after that we're going to go down two and letting off of our A pedal and then we're, what we're going to do there is we're going to drop our E note with our, our D lever which is my inside right. It could be different for you but we're going to drop our E note. So it's, it's like this. Okay. We're, we're pulling off of the A pedal first, then dropping the E note, so there's more movement there. Okay, so that much is. Okay, and then the very last two parts is, is pretty simple. We're in our open G, starting on our 10th string and another hammer on. We're starting open and we're gonna push both pedals down. So it's to the eighth string, or, and then to the sixth. And we have our, our pedals down, so all, now all we have to do is release them. So it's. And then, okay, so, so far it's. I really I, that middle part's really cool. The way you you let you you wait to push to apply the lower in the E on your knee lever. I do that movement is is, is I just like that. I, I think that's really cool. So the last part is is the chime. Now, in playing a chime, in my experience, there's two ways to do it. Um, the where you can get the clear or the, what we call the more bell sound. The way you want to do it is wherever you're at with your bar, you want to go to the octave fret. And the idea is that's where your, your finger needs to be. 
And what I'm doing here is I'm using my ring finger and I'm placing it over the octave fret of where my bar is, and that's making me apply, uh, pick the string with my thumb in front of the finger. So it's the chime is. And what that is, that's my fifth, fourth, and third. And you can hammer on to the fifth if you like, or you can go, you can be right on it. So hammering on would be. Hammering on is kind of nice, gives it a little movement there instead of. Okay, another way that you can chime, which I can, I'll do sometimes, I'll use, it depends on, on the song or the type of song, the tempo, but what it allows me to do is play it maybe a faster tempo, uh, such as like say if I'm doing. And what I'm doing there, it allows me to use my fingers in front. I'm, I'm, I'm actually doing it with the back of my hand. Same theory though, the back of my hand is over the, the octave fret of the position of my bar. So I could do that ending thing, it'd be. Now it doesn't quite have the bell sound, so in those situations, I prefer the finger behind because it gives it more clarity and it comes out better like a. I'm sorry, that last one. But you hear the difference. So at the end of the song, after the, or at the end of the fill, I'm sorry, it's. And then that's the end of it. So again, one more time with it is. And of course, you don't have to apply that very last chime if you don't like, because this, at the end of the is, is enough. There's, there's a pause, and then that intro allows to, it's set up for the for the intro of the first verse or whatever it may be. Okay, I hope you enjoy that. It's something to work on, and uh, we'll just move on the next time you see me, okay? Thanks for joining. I really appreciate it.